What's up, Tag and Break Nation? It's June 9th, Friday, and we are in mad food plot prep. Trying to get the uh, spring, early summer crops in the ground right now. So uh, this is the front side of our property. If you guys remember last year, we uh, had the neighbor build our the Great Wall of Josh, which is uh, helped a ton screening from the road. Most of our tillable ground uh, on this property is in viewing distance of the road. And we actually had some turnips in here last year, but what we're gonna do this year is plant our uh, Egyptian wheat sorghum blend. And uh, we tested it out in our backyard last year and it got about 10 to 12 feet high. So if we can do that again this year and, uh, and screen off this road about 200 yards and that stuff grows well, which it should, uh, this whole food plot back here that will be turnips in the fall will be completely screened off. We got a ton of deer coming into this food plot. It's just a lot of the mature deer and buck activities at night. So we're trying to change that up a little bit. So we turned this a week ago and this is all, a lot of this is new ground that we turned. So the grass was high in here. I'm gonna try to turn it again. I wanna try to stay away from spraying it just so we don't delay planting another two weeks. Um, and the ground's pretty good, but if we can turn it again and it doesn't green up too bad in the next four to five days, we're just gonna go ahead and plant it. out the cutter how do you like my get up today short shorts high socks don't judge me This is all brassicas. This is our what we call our front field. It's our biggest fluid, fluid, fluid pot. This is our biggest food plot that we have. But it used to, well, the past couple years, it's cut out probably 20 yards into this field and up because all this is normally super wet down here. So what I'm going to do, we want to try and get the food as close to that huge tree right there as possible because we have an awesome setup there all this is going to be plot screen literally blocking our whole back it's going to force the deer to move within bow range of this tree and if we can get food out here we're hoping that they just slip right out of this bottom and this is the closest spot to feed um, but also we'll, we'll be able to shoot the food plot from right there so i'm going to brush hog all this and then we're going to spray it and uh, kill everything and let it sit for probably a month or two and we'll hopefully let it dry out and then uh, till it up, plant some food right there. This, that could be the killer spot this year. Just saying, just saying. seem to have gotten the uh, the rhino stuck I can't tell you a good reason why this continually happens to us other than we're not good good at this <laughs> she's buried I need to wait for Dean to come through and see we got the tractor stuck right here before so there's two ruts in the tall grass I didn't know how far I thought I was still one pass away from doing it, but I did it, and I did it. Fantastic. Fantastic.
called in the reinforcements. You know what we are good at? Getting stuff unstuck. Ladies and gentlemen, while well, Dave just uh, brush hogged this little area right here, this is all our normal food plot and it always stopped right here, right on this line because it was always so wet over here to the right. Um, we worked it a little bit last year to try to filter the water out with this ditch and it did help a little bit. It's still a little wet but I'm going to spray it down right now and uh, give it about a month to die. So we'll plant our turnips here in about a month. But the reason we're doing this is we call that the big tree. It's a killing tree. But as you can see now, it's kind of far away. The uh, edge of the food plot, the turnips, the horny buck seed, 55 yards maybe. So adding this little quarter acre right here of space We'll push this food plot another 30 yards closer to the stand so and it just gives us more food in here so this plot should be if this works out this plot should be excellent this fall it'll be huge huge turn of plot i'm excited for it and that tree is going to be fun to hunt man look at you buddy you're a good looking dude you're a good looking dude. <laughs> Dang, I thought he was going to let me come up to him. Turn in the uh, cabin plot. We call this the, the cabin plot. It's honestly the best remote plot we have on the property. We just can't. Three or four years we haven't been able to get it to grow really well. And I think we finally might have it figured out. Time will tell that, but I'm actually gonna try soybeans right here. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll broadcast a turn up in here in the late summer. But we got the redneck line right at the end there. It's a perfect setup. You can come in from the backside of our property right down a logging road that's literally like in a huge ditch almost. And we get in fairly undetected. This is literally all all bedding area all the way down into our bottom so we hunt a south wind blowing up the hill towards our entrance and uh, if we uh, don't pressure it too much this is an unreal spot we always see a ton of deer here hopefully we can get these beans going good in here <laughs> 